What's up, YouTube? As always, it's PFC Ryu Tachi here to bring you a supernatural discussion video. So, obviously, supernatural is a non anime, non manga, it's a real life American show. Something new I'm gonna try out for this month or whatever. For those who don't know, I'm a pretty super diehard supernatural fan. I've seen most of the episodes at least probably 10 times. I absolutely love supernatural. It's one of the few American shows, especially like uh, with real people. That I actually love. So let's jump right in this episode nine of season nine. Sorry to start so late, but hey, so Cass finally gets his grace back, which I mean he's only been human for a little bit now, and he's been human before, but he gets his grace back, so that's is good. But I'm wondering like how does it really gonna affect everything in the long run? Because I mean at the end he's he told Dean that you know if he was if they're going to war, then he has to be prepared. So he's got well, he's got grace back. It's not his grace. So that's what I'm saying. I wonder how it's really gonna help. I mean, obviously anything is better than being a human, but since it's not his grace, it's just random angel number two. Um, I'm wondering how strong is he? Because uh, even he said that you know, when uh, when Dean asked him how was he like good to go or whatever, he was like, yeah, I'm okay. So obviously he's not going to be as strong as he used to, so I'm kind of hesitant about that. And the ending was totally screwed up. I think Sam and Dean should just not ever have friends, ever. Because literally, I think every friend they've ever had, even if they weren't human, aka Benny, and uh, Meg, some of uh, them, uh, Ruby, all their friends always die. They may not die in that episode. They may not die in that season. But at some point, they're gonna die. I mean, come on. I, ain't, I don't get why they had to. Why do you have to kill Kevin Tran? Like, I mean, I understand he's a prophecy prophet. He's a prophet. But I mean, I, another one's about to be awoken. If you remember, when one goes, another one comes. So another one's about to be awoken. So I mean, is what is it, Gadriel or whatever? Is he just gonna be like the the prophet killer or something? Like every new prophet, he's gonna slay him. No, um, but I mean it was kind of it was messed up. Like Kevin Tran is Kevin Tran has had like one of the worst lives in Supernatural. I mean Dean and Sam, yeah, their life is way beyond screwed up. But at a certain point, they kind of stepped with it and they it was. The responsibility fell on them. Like, yeah, they got into hunting because of the father, but they keep it up because they want to. But Kevin, he just kind of got screwed. He didn't want to become a prophet. He just did. And then when he did, freaking demons made him do certain things. Angels made him do certain things. And the few people that he could trust, Sam and Dean made him do certain things. So he just been screwed. And I, I like what he said in this episode when Dean said to trust him he said yeah I trust you but I get screwed every time and that's the truth like ever since he's been introduced he went from a normal what was it, like a college kid to being a prophet and just his mom dying freaking leviathans I mean it's horrible and then at the end you know angels falling so maybe he, he'll be a little safe since all the angels can't necessarily find him and then bam he dies that was messed up that's what I'm saying. Like, Sam and Dean should just never, ever have friends. Because at some point, you're going to die if you're the friend. I think the only friend that has not died yet was Jody. I think literally everybody else has died. So, future spoiler, I'm sure there's going to be an episode that she dies, too. I mean, she kind of almost died. Previous episode, previous two episodes ago when she got stabbed by that Roman guy. But she didn't die yet. So, eventually, I know she's dying, too. And then I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen with Sam. Because um, he's kind of like repeating a freaking Lucifer now. Instead of, instead of the devil, although technically he's an angel. He went from being possessed from one angel to another angel. And they're both screwed up angels. And now he doesn't... He was, you know, kind of coming to the realization that something was not adding up. But now, I mean, it's, it's to the point of where... He's just totally not in control. So, but I mean, if I remember right, when Cassia took over Jimmy, 
Jimmy said that he could still see everything and um, all that fun stuff. He just couldn't control it because obviously Castillo was in control. So I'm kind of wondering why uh, Sam hasn't realized that because if Jimmy was able to tell that he was being taken over by an angel, um, although I know Sam got tricked, but he should still have some realization just like when demons possess humans and they still see everything that happens. But anyway, so I'm kind of wondering how that's going to come about. I mean, now Dean's a lone warrior. He has nobody. I mean, but the only person he has now, God forbid, is, is freaking Crawley. And if he, they team up again, it's, it's going to get even worse. And since um, everybody's thinking that, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. But everybody thinking that, you know, there's only one angel in heaven. If everybody's trying to go to heaven, then what is going to happen to Sam? Because if Gadriel goes up to heaven, then Sam's pretty much going to die. Because, I mean, in previous episodes, uh, that God has said that he was pretty much, like, duct taped together. So, if any moment, he, even even if he expels um, Gadriel, he's going to die. And if Gadriel leaves by himself, he's going to die. And now you got another war. Like, I, honestly, I, I love Supernatural. I love Supernatural. But, I mean, Sam and Dean should just give up. Like, the first few seasons, they were fighting the demons, trying to, you know, revenge their family and all that. And then, they have the whole demon war with Lucifer. Then they have Leviathan trying to take over. And now they got an angel war. They, like, they're... They've always got a literal war going on every time they have to stop it. Now you got the freaking angels war with Malachi and I guess Metatron. And I thought it was another one. Um, fighting for power. And the angels just, I don't know. But I, I kind of feel sorry for Dean. And then, you know, every time one of their friends die too, just to make it worse, they always die in front of them. Like they never just hear them on the phone or, you know, see a newspaper, hey, so-and-so died. It's always right. Even when he, they each other dies, they always see each other die right in front of their eyes. Like, they just have horrible eyes. So, Kevin Tran is gone. All that suffering he's been through is pretty much for nothing. And now Dean's a lone warrior, other than if he teams over Crowley, which I kind of can see that happening. And sadly, we're on a hiatus until January 14th, I think it is. Um, bring out the new episodes. Um, kind of when it's going to happen. I know one of the episodes is actually named like Firstborn or something. So obviously, probably has something to do with Dean. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode discussion. I hope you like this new thing I'm doing. I hope you um, stay tuned, obviously, for more Supernatural. And as always, Spirit Seer Yutachi. Don't forget to comment below. Thumbs up the video and subscribe for more. Peace.